what's going on everyone this is jack with the trading tribe and today we are back at it with another trading video we're actually going to focus in on a really important concept in the futures world at least called your contract change events so really just how the continuous contract works as well as what the front months typically look like for really any futures contract out there these specifics to each contract can be a little bit different but the main concepts are very similar and it's something that you really need to understand when you're trading futures because it's something you're essentially doing month to month or quarter to quarter. So it's going to happen a lot in the markets <laughs> and good to be aware of. But essentially in Thinkorswim at least every broker is a little bit different. But within Thinkorswim there's going to be basically two types of contracts that you can chart. One is going to be the, the continuous contract, they call it in the futures world, which is basically just the main futures contract. So in my case, I trade natural gas quite often. And if I want to look at the natural gas continuous contract in Thinkorswim, I can just do forward slash NG. In trading view, I think you can do NG exclamation point. There's different um, ways you can do this based on the broker, but this essentially gets us to the main NG continuous contract. And what's really cool about this is this basically puts all of the past front months together. So if we notice right, right now, it's May, because May is the front month, right? It's April. Typically, the front month is the next month on these monthly expiring futures contracts. And so this is already essentially synced with May. So what we're seeing right now is the price of the May natural gas contract. But a month ago, right, this was synced with GK24, which was April's front month contract. And so you'll notice once a month, essentially, this continuous contract links to the next front month. So we're at the end of April, right? It's still connected to May, but we're right on the cusp there of rolling our contract. And so in a few days or this week, right, we're gonna actually gap up in this case, right? Because if we look, we can open up our options chain here. This is our options chain for the continuous contract. And what's kind of cool here is we can see the different months from this view as well. So kind of helps us with this expiration concept a little bit in Thinkorswim because you can see, right, NGK, which is May, actually expires in four days, right? So we don't really want to be trading it. Yeah, it's the active contract, but first of which, right, volume is almost higher on the next contract. And that's typically how I'll do it. I'll base my trading off the volume because the most liquid product is really what you want to be trading. So the spreads will be the best on this one. Um, and so I'll follow volume. So today you can still trade K24, but you'll notice, right, we're really close to bumping into this next contract volume wise. And then in terms of days till expiration, right, we can only trade K for a few more days. So that's something you really want to consider as well. If you're taking swing trades or you have multi-day ideas, you really don't have much time left with K. And so that's what we call a front month, right? Within the next few days, everybody should be rolling to NGM24. And that's what we call a front month. So if we switch over to that, instead of this continuous contract where you can see all the different front months in the past connected, we can even back up more, right? If we look at like the daily, this is connecting all of the prior front months to give us data from the past few years, right? If we look at just NGM24, which again is the, the front month coming soon, <laughs> you'll notice, right, there isn't that much data, right? Because this is really only this specific contract. And if you think about it, right, a few years ago or a few months ago, there weren't that many people interested in this June 2024 contract, right? Because it's so specific to that date and time. And so this contract really didn't matter multiple years ago. And so you'll notice there was very few traders involved, 
And then as we get closer to this active period of time or the dates where we're going to actually trade M24, you'll notice the volume gets more and more reliable, right? We go from spotty um, executions here on the left. We can see some some of these time frames didn't even have trades. And then we can see, right, it's really cleanly downtrending like the main continuous contract. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, feel free to leave um, those questions down below in the comment section. I have tons of people kind of understanding this, but asking questions slowly because I let out another video on the channel explaining this, but this is really important. Typically we are charting the continuous contract because that has really all of the data that we want to look at, but we're typically trading the front month. Right, because again, that's going to be the contract with the most volume. And so that's the most important concept, <laughs> but the rollovers and, and some of those other things are important too. So yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and we will talk next time. Thanks everyone.